Hi everyone, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, the channel name is Alba Stitcher and Happy New Year. 2023 is finally here. I hope you're all well. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, whether you celebrate or not. And I hope uh, 2023 so far has been kind to you. Um, I'm not quite sure what this year will throw at me, but hey ho, we will need to just go on with it no matter what. Um, so I apologise for not doing an update at the end of December. My plan had been to do a quick update then just to fill you in on what I'd been stitching. But yeah, life, <laughs> life, Christmas. Um, I'll, I'll do a little bit of a, a life update at the end for those that are interested. Um, yeah, time just run away from me. So I was determined that I would be back early January. So Today's the 5th, I've, I've finally achieved what I wanted to do and I have a little bit of an update. I have some new starts, oh gosh, I, I, I've got a little bit of uh, startitis going on here. Um, I don't have any finishes or FFOs, I have none of that and I've worked on some whips. Um, I've got the winner of the giveaway from the last video. I have a giveaway again for, for this time and I have a little bit of haul. I got a couple of um, stitchy gifts at Christmas, which I'll share. And one was a total surprise. And I also had a Secret Santa, which I'll tell you about as well. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll just get started. Enough of me waffling on and let's get started. Let us start with the new starts. Um, and I will go back to my whip. So new starts I've had. Oh, and I've incorporated something a little bit different. Um, this is not new. I've seen lots of other people do it, but I'm a, I have a terrible habit of filming without notes. Um, do, do you know why? <laughs> do you know why? This is going to sound strange, but I film without notes. I've tried with notes. It's not that I haven't taken notes before. I tend not to look at them, but I don't live my life from a notepad, so kind of what you see is what I would be like in real life. So I stopped with notes. It did mean I kept forgetting things, but some of the important things that people always want to know is fabric and um, uh, threads and that, that sort of thing. So I've decided to use these little cards, which these are just standard kind of postcards. Or, or index cards and I've seen quite a few stitchers use them so I thought with all my new starts for 2023 I would use the index cards so one of my first starts which was around just at the end of December I think maybe the 28th or 29th was this project here and I had mentioned it in my previous video that I wanted to start it and a lot of you had given me comments on the fabric. And this is Tumbleweeds called Legendary Girls. And Tumbleweeds is a, a part of Little House Needleworks. And I've seen this completed by a couple of other floss tubers. Um, Michelle, Mama Loves You GB. And Lolly from, uh, or Laura from Lollipop Stitches. And I hunted around, I got it, and I was just desperate to start. Now, this is the picture of this plus um, gingerbread. It is a little bit washed out. It is stronger than what, you, what you're seeing on camera. I've used most of the called for except the, the red. The called for is Barn Door, and I used Cherry Cobbler. Yeah, that, that's maybe a bit better. This is 32 count picture of this plus gingerbread, and it's stitched two over two. I just wanted to show you the difference with the threads because there, there is actually very little difference. Um, let me see if I can... I have just have my threads on a ring. Um, bear with me. There's the cherry cobbler. There's the barn door. Um, So I have a, a couple of skeins of cherry cobbler and the, the chart calls for two and I only had one of barn door and when I was looking at them there was not a lot of difference. You'll see that the, I hope this shows okay. So 
you can see barn door is in the middle. <laughs> so, and if you look there, my this cherry cobbler and barn door is far more similar than this cherry cobbler with that cherry cobbler. So I decided to go with cherry cobbler and uh, not bother getting another skein of barn door. But yeah, so that's the called for and that's what I switched it out as. Um, I've enjoyed stitching on it. I'll just look at my card, which will tell me I started it on the 29th of December. Um, yeah, the other threads are all the, the called for threads. So yeah, Legend of the Girls. I'm almost at a page finish. I've got to finish off this arrow and write the word girl here. And that'll be the first page done. And then I can move on to the second page. But that was my first new start. Um, and then my other two starts were all uh, New Year new starts. I'm kind of boxed in today as I, I normally am. Um, so my other new start is the... I will just consult my card again. <laughs> it is from the Heart Needle Art, the January Quaker. And if you remember, I had asked or I had decided I was going to do one a month. Please focus. Thank you. I was I had decided I was going to do one a month, hopefully. And my biggest decision was fabric. What kind of fabric was I going to use? Um, I didn't go with what I showed in my last video. I changed it out and I've, I've went with 32 Count Zweigart Vintage Country Mocha. My plan is to stitch these all individually with the called for threads. But yeah, I'm just going to do them individually until I decide. I'm going to decide month by month, sorry, which fabric I want to use. So I'll not always use Vintage Country Mocha, but who knows? Um, so this is where I am so far. I've done the, the middle kind of motif and I've just started on the word January. And this took, <laughs> took me a long time. Um, it could be that maybe I was a little bit under the weather on January 1st and um, I stitched into the, the wee small hours. And then I picked it up again in the morning. So yeah, I'm going to try and crack on with that over the next few days and see if I can get a couple of more motifs done on it. I'm using the called for threads, which are a lovely array of blue. And if you want to join in, it's great. I'll be doing something the whole year with this, whether it's the same one the whole year or whether I do progress on to the other ones, I will be. And we've got a hashtag, it's hashtag year of Quakers 2023. So if you have a chart and you want to join in, please uh, add in the hashtag at the end of your picture. And that means we can all see your progress. Already we've got quite a few people stitching the January one and it's looking fabulous. Um, when you, you click on the hashtag, it's just like a little sea of blue. Um, a lot of people have, have chosen quite a neutral fabric. Um, so yeah, it's lovely. It's really good. And I'm so happy so many people are joining in. And you can just do one or you can do two. Or you can do 12 and hopefully some of us will get them all done. Who knows? Um, so that was my first New Year New Start. I then also, and this bag is by the lovely Pauline from Sobe Bags. I'll um, link her um, Instagram below in case you wanted to pick up one of these bags. But this, the, I needed a big bag because this is the Mirabilia Start that I had on the 1st of January. I don't have a massive amount of progress on this one. But here is the chart here. I don't know if I need to take it out or whether you just can see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is Scent of Old Roses. A few people had said they hadn't seen this chart. I myself, I think I saw it stitched on Instagram and I was like, oh, I like that. That's a bit different. And here is my, <laughs> it's a small start. But you can't rush these things. And here is my start. That's all I've done. And if you look at the picture, I'm basically working on her bodice. I don't know if you can see that because now I can't see anything. But yeah, I'm working on her bodice. And that fabric that I'm 
stitching on is chromatic alchemy 32 count even weave and it's called livia and i did really struggle with fabric trying different ones and i did post a picture on instagram but it wasn't really that's probably the darker at the top is probably more like this fabric it's not as washed out as i think it's it's shown in some of my pictures so yeah, I had a bit of a, a start on that one and I joined in in the hashtag which is Teresa made me do it Sal, which is Teresa Little Stitcher. She'd started this Sal for Stitching Fancy Ladies. Um, so yeah, I joined in on that as well. Somebody asked me the other day there, how long will that take you? I said, you'd be lucky if it's finished by 2025, but you never know. Um, I've got a bit of a start on it. Um, the problem I have at the moment is there's so many other things I want to stitch on but that's not good for me I do need to get some finishes here and there so that's my progress very slight progress on my my new year's new start um, and I'm using all the called for threads and I'm switching out the Krynic, um for petite treasure braid because that is my metallic of choice I don't know if anybody else has a metallic of choice, but that is mine. Okay, but I did do some other stitching before I started these new starts. And the one that I'm hopefully going to return to, um, be maybe before the end of the month if I can, is this one here. And this is the Christmas Stamps by Madame Chantilly. Um, and I started that... I don't know when I started it, sometime in November I think it was, because my plan was that I was hopefully going to have it finished for December. Well, that didn't happen, clearly. So here is my progress. But I must admit, I do love stitching on this. Oh, I don't want it to be so blown out, because um, then you can't really see it. I don't know if that's any better for you. But that's my progress. I've done nine boxes so far. Um... I've enjoyed stitching them because they're all like little mini finishes but I must admit I get a bit bored of the white um, and I think when I got down to doing the snowman I maybe switched on to this one and then went back um, because the, the, there's quite, <laughs> quite a lot of white in it but yeah I'm enjoying this and I would really like to have this finished before the end of the year I don't know <laughs> I don't know um, I have a few ideas of maybe stitching it on the 25th of every month. Somebody else suggested that to me. So I'm quite tempted to try that um, to see if I can get a bit of progress. The boxes don't take too long, but I wouldn't get one done on one session of stitching. It just wouldn't happen. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so that's Christmas stamps. And this is 32 count. I think it's Permin, yeah, Permin French Country Mocha. And I've used all the called for threads except the greens. And the greens I swapped out for the Tom and Lily Creations. Um, the threads that were gifted to me. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure I've showed them. If you've watched me before, I did show them. And what I've decided to do is I've joined her thread subscription. So you'll see more of these threads in my um i'm just trying to get i've got a little bit of a rat's nest here let me see if i can get this organized to show you these two lovely threads so these are the greens and that's the oh is it going to focus yes so that's the two i swapped them out and these are the two that i'm using so yeah so i've joined the thread club because I really do like these threads. I like the coverage. It's um, great coverage. They don't knot. Yeah, and I have a little bit of a, a thread fetish at times. And um, yeah, my fetish could be in full, full throw at the moment. So that's this one here. And I'm telling you, I've got stuff piled up everywhere. Um, I also stitched on, let's see, I'm running out of space, I also stitched on my Nora Corbett 
whoops, that's the chart, which is this one here, and that's Peony Fairy. Granted, I've not stitched on this since about mid mid December, but I do want to try and crack on and get some more done on it. And that's my progress so far. I have loved stitching on this. I particularly like the, the threads in this one, the colours. Um, and the fabric is a fabric flare um, called Springtime. It's not really shown up. It is a little bit greener than what you can see. Um, it's all DMC. Um, I've switched out the Krynik for Petite Treasure Braid. And when I come to use it, I'll, I'll show you which ones I chose. Um, so this is 32 count fabric flare springtime and stitch two over two and this is uh, Peony Fairy um, by Nora Corbett and I think I think that's all what I've stitched on in the last month which uh, maybe not so much but considering it was Christmas Probably not too bad. So let's talk about the giveaway. The last giveaway, which was for this uh, October Quaker by From the Heart Needle Art. So if you could join in on the hashtag, and I included the threads, and I've just done the random comment picker, and the winner was Jean Dolby. So, Jean, if you can. Either email me or contact me over Instagram. I'll um, get this in the, the post to you. And um, maybe you can join in and stitch in the Quakers um, at some point this year. And I have a giveaway for this for for this time. I'll just do it now, I think, while I'm kind of on that. And this is going to be the giveaway for this week. And it's a tiny modernist chart called Scotland. I had bought it and I kitted it up with the called for threads, but I'm, I'm not going to stitch it. Um, not because I don't like it, but I'm just, I have so much now, I, I, I need to be realistic about what I can stitch. So I'm not going to stitch this. So if you're interested and you would like to stitch this little chart, then please use the comment Scotland. Um, sorry, please use the word in your comment, Scotland, and I'll do the draw in my next video, which will hopefully be about three weeks' time. The usual apply. Please do not um, use the word giveaway or prize. Um, please be over 18 so that you can give me your address. But if you're interested in this little chart with the threads, then use the word Scotland. So I also have some haul. And I have some stitchy gifts, I have a secret Santa as well. So first of all, let me talk a little bit about my secret Santa. I received a notification, and I know a couple of other floss tubers did as well, received a notification from Patchwork Rabbit that I had a secret Santa on the way. So I didn't know anything about it, didn't know who it was from. And to be fair, I haven't asked this person if I can share their name, so I won't. Um... But we have had a lot of um, postal strikes in the UK in the, in the run up to Christmas. And I, did, I didn't know what was coming, didn't know what it was, didn't know who it was from. But on the same day that I received this lovely Christmas card, I received the, um, the gift from Patchwork Rabbit. And it was a, a gift voucher, which was very, very appreciated. I've not spent it yet. Don't know what I'm going to buy. I don't know. Who knows? Let's just wait and see. But lovely card with lovely words. I have thanked um, the woman and we've chatted as well. There could be a possibility that we'll meet up because she's coming to Scotland. Um, so that was really, really nice. And it, it was, you know, what was it was kind of intriguing because I was like, oh, Secret Santa, where's that come from? Who sent me something? So it was all, it all just led to kind of like nice thoughts Um just before Christmas so yes so thank you very much um right so secret Santa Christmas gifts obviously I received gifts at Christmas and I received some stitchy related um gifts I don't know if I'm going to shoot because this is a huge box but maybe I'll show you it right hang on pause me for a second 
I received an overlocker. <laughs> so I already have a, a sewing machine um, and I had mentioned, oh, I think I might buy an overlocker to overlock my fabrics, blah, 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 blah. And Santa came good. I got an overlocker. I'm going to pause you while I put it down. <laughs> Okay, I also received a few other stitchy gifts. I received this. This is from John Lewis. It's a little uh, pink cushion. Really cute fabric. And then I received three needle felting kits. And the strange thing is they're from two different people. <laughs> so one person gave me these two. This one is um, a long-tailed uh, bird and this one is the Scottish hare. Now, I've never done needle velting. I struggle, <laughs> struggle with time just for cross-stitching. Um, but this is the beginner kit. I think they thought I could progress. I would start with the beginner kit and then I could progress to this one. Um, I know why, because I had mentioned there is a, I think it's a Riolis kit that has got a hair looking at the moon and I really like it and I've thought about buying it. I've not purchased it yet, but I might do it. And so they've bought me this. So I've got two needle felting kits from one person. If you have done needle felting before, can you, if you've got time, maybe drop me a message and we can quickly chat. I did speak to um, Jay, who does, uh, who has done needle felting, um, and she gave me some tips and advice. But if you've got any other kind of beginner, because I'm a real beginner, <laughs> and then I also got this kit as well from somebody else. But they probably bought me this because it's Highland cows, and that's again a needle felting kit to Highland cows. So yeah, I got a real kind of array of needle felting kits at Christmas so that so that was really nice okay let's talk a little bit about haul because well because it's me and I've always got haul but the first thing I wanted to mention is um you may remember that I had subscribed or sorry I had bought the um cottage garden thread advent calendar so I got all 24 of them and you got a 25th um gift which is uh, bobbins but they were really good and I really enjoyed not just the advent calendar, I really enjoyed getting different threads. Um, so I decided I was going to sign up for their thread club and luckily enough, or coincidentally enough, today <laughs> came in the first batch of threads. So these are the first um, of the club for this year um, and I'm doing a little bit of changing around I think of my thread clubs that I'm involved in um, maybe switching up a little bit so these were the first ones for cottage garden threads so I'll add them to my my little collection that I have but they're really nice um, slate, bart, um, pistachio, Mrs Ryan and the last one there is uh, Ashdale so all, all fairly variegated but still really nice so I get I get the thread club from Poppy Patch UK. Um, if anyone's interested, I will link it below. But I have also bought other other stitchy things. Of course I have. And that's just my tripod that I've dropped there. So the first one that I bought is this one here by um, Carriage House Samplings, and this is Garden Sampler. I'll maybe take this one out. So that you can see it. I really like this one and I swithered will I buy it or not because I have lots of charts but I really really like this one so I decided I was going to go for it. I'm not seeing it stitched up it's quite big let me see well 104 wide that's okay by 258 height but it's a really nice chart but what I might try and do is, is substitute my ever-growing uh, thread supply that I have rather than just going with the cold for. I also purchased this little one here and this is um, 
October House Fibre Arts and that's Strawberry Fair and I have seen this stitched up by a couple of people and I really like it but it's got a fair amount of threads in it that's the threads um, let me see what's that two four six eight ten threads and it's 91 by 62 so it's not huge but I really like that um, and I also purchased this one here and I was going to buy this as PDF and I eventually just bought it as um, a paper copy I think from 123 Stitch and this is by a uh, Petal Pusher Barbie and that's um, it's a Harper's Forest yep Harper's Forest and a few videos ago I showed you that I had purchased um, Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery and I think those two would make great companion pieces which will probably be in my retirement as I sit in my house surrounded by cross stitch patterns and no longer been able to see to stitch them but hey ho so I bought that and I also bought yeah I also bought this this will surprise some people um I've kind of surprised myself I don't know what I was thinking but I bought Map of Hot Gun Hollow and I think it's because I've seen it so much on um social media that I thought I really like it. I've got shores and I've actually got shores of Hot Run Hollow um, all kitted up but I haven't started it yet but I just I just quite liked map of Hot Run Hollow so yeah I've not done anything I've not looked at I just bought the chart so that I had the chart and I think I think that is all my purchases I think um, so I'll do a little bit of a, a life update. Um, I've been off work for a few days here and there over Christmas, which was nice. Um, I returned to work yesterday, but a lot of people are still on vacation, so it's not not crazy busy. Um, I've returned to work full time. I'm still attending the hospital. I go next Tuesday again. I still have a hole about that size in my leg. Um, I don't have lots of pain, I have some pain, but I just go get it dressed and they monitor it. Uh, I, I, I'm i not being pessimistic, but I would think Easter will be before before it's repaired. Um, because it's just, it's just taken forever. So, but my Christmas was okay. Um, to be honest, the, the biggest issue I think for Christmas and New Year this year was because it was the first year without my, my brother. And I know many 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 people are touched by grief and um, bereavement and my feelings are no different from anyone else's but I, I i struggled quite a lot over those those kind of two weeks and that's probably part of the reason why i didn't feel as if i could film i kind of always like to come on and, and be quite upbeat and i just i just felt there was a wee bit of a dark cloud over me um so i would rather wait and then I can come on and I can be a little bit enthusiastic about what I've been stitching and what I've bought and stuff like that instead of maybe just focusing on something that's that should be focused upon. I'm not saying I should push away my feelings. My feelings should be kind of dealt with, but they don't need to be dealt with here on a channel about cross stitch. Um, it was fairly difficult for my mum as well. Um, if you've been with me for a little while, you know that my mum my is not only a wonderful person who does everything for me all the time and she's great but she also has to deal with my dad's um ongoing dementia and he did not he didn't show the same emotion that the rest of us did at Christmas and New Year um so I think she struggled a little bit but I spent Christmas Day my boyfriend came as well and he spent the day um on Christmas Day with us we had we ate we had a bit of a laugh and a carry on which was nice and then I went back to his place for a few days and then um, we came back here on uh, January the 1st to have a uh, New Year's Day with my, my parents and uh, John my boyfriend gets on very very well with my dad which is good they talk about cars and that kind of stuff but it's a nice distraction as well for my mum and um so yeah, we we have spent some time with them, which has been good. But I'm I'm kind of glad to get back to normal as well. There's only so much kind of good food 
and um, drink you can consume um, and you need to do day-to-day -day stuff back to work and everything um, there's not been any change in my dad really um, my mum was saying he, some days he's very confused but mostly I think she struggles with him being unemotional whereas the rest of us are, were quite emotional over Christmas and New Year because it was the first without my brother and everybody keeps telling me the first is always the hardest you know the first Christmas, New Year, birthday, um, anniversary of the death so um, and as I say my emotions are no different from anybody else's and I don't want anybody to be upset um, themselves but so that's really it. Um, thanks very much for everyone who commented on my last video. Thanks to those who um, who bought me a coffee. I had quite a few who'd bought coffee as well, which was lovely. Thank you. And for those who obviously sent great wishes to me and my family over Christmas. And um, But I'm, I'm ready for 2023. Let's see what, what can be thrown at me this year. Um, whatever it is, I'm sure I'll cope with it fine. Um, and I hope you're all well and um, thanks for stopping by and um, I'll hopefully see you in a few weeks and if you want to enter the little giveaway that would be great use the word Scotland and um, yeah I'll see you soon thanks bye bye